Uh, greetings. Uh, for those of us who repair old radios and jukeboxes and guitar amplifiers and things of that sort, one of the weak links is always the speaker. And I'm going to show you today uh, a way, a fairly quick and very inexpensive way to rejuvenate an old speaker. Now, ideally, uh, you would recone it, and I would recommend that on any real high dollar piece of equipment. Um, and, you know, in, in the past, I would recone them. I did it myself uh, back when I could get materials, a complete reconing kit for like $25 or $30. Now, it's very difficult to get the materials, and it's very expensive. So, it's just easier for me to use this procedure, and if it works, great. If it doesn't, then recone it. Okay, in this case, uh, I don't happen to have a really good old guitar speaker to work on, but I do have a radio speaker. It's an old Xena speaker. And if you can see here, I've got one tear right here in the perimeter, probably from some object penetrating the edge of the cone. Now, uh, what I do on those to maintain flexibility is I'm going to patch it with some black silicone sealer. Okay, so stay tuned. I'll be right back with my silicone sealer. Okay, I just used the Permatex Ultra Black uh, gasket making uh, silicone. I've got some here on my end of my little screwdriver, and I'm simply going to feed it into the crack and then smooth it out with my fingertip. so that it bridges across to both sides and fills in the crack. Okay, uh, fortunately this uh, speaker only had one crack. If you've got six or eight or ten and they usually radiate out from the center, it's a typical aging process on a speaker to have these radial cracks. Um, I would patch each of them. I would put on a very light coat of the silicone sealer, as thin as possible, but you want to completely bridge across both sides and fill in the empty space. Okay, now we're going to let this dry and move on to step two. Okay, after waiting overnight for the silicone sealer to harden, uh, we should have a nice, uh, firm, but still uh, flexible patch on the edge just between you and me I didn't wait overnight I normally would and I strongly recommend it um, then we're gonna go to the second phase now here's what happens to these old speakers once you start getting the radial cracks it means that this area around the perimeter is getting kind of weak and flimsy and uh, worn out and once that happens the speaker starts to do something that we're all familiar with, I think, is with high volumes or with a lot of bass, it kind of flubs around. It just, instead of portraying, accurately portraying the, the frequencies you want, you get a kind of a, you know, flub -a dub -a dub terrible, god-awful sound. There's some other rather unflattering terms applied to it, but I'll avoid those. So what we need to do is return the elasticity and strength to this perimeter area. The inner part of the cone here you can actually patch with like Elmer's glue if you want, but the edge here is what's important. It's like the sidewall of a tire. It has to be able to flex. So, and this is the secret step, okay, and, and those of you who have bought uh, high-performance guitar speakers know that they dope the edges of them, okay? I don't know what they use. It's probably some polymer that costs $4,000 an ounce or, or whatever, or I'm sure they tell you it did, uh, but I'm going to show you the secret way to restore the perimeter of your speaker to where it doesn't flub and it will last a whole lot longer. Ready? Stay tuned. Okay, here's the secret. Uh, I just go to Home Depot and buy a quart of Weldwood contact cement. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to apply it, and I think you'll be very surprised with the result. Hopefully, it'll be a positive experience. Okay, I know purists are cringing, but try this and see if it doesn't work. You've got nothing to lose. If your speaker perimeter is all shredded and the cone is flopping around, really, you know, 
anything you can do to help it, I think, would be a nice change. Uh, certainly, reconing is always best, and I don't deny that, but uh, sometimes you can rejuvenate them with this process. Okay, now I'm going to take the uh, just a plain old paintbrush and paint a thin coating. I spread it around a thin coating of the contact cement all the way around the perimeter of the speaker. Now when you're done, the perimeter is going to have a nice black shiny look, sort of like doped speakers look. But once the contact cement dries, that largely goes away and it's very hard to tell that this has been done. Let's give this time to dry and we'll take a look. Okay, the contact cement is now dry. In this particular case, it stayed a little bit shiny, uh, a little darker, um, but it still has a very positive effect on controlling the excursion of the cone. No more just flapping in the breeze. Okay, it is actually controlled with a nice flexible but much stronger suspension around the perimeter. Uh, now, once again, I know the purists are rolling their eyes because all speakers that aren't perfect have to be reconed. But in, from a practical standpoint, this is a really nice, simple, inexpensive way to see if you can't fix the speaker up where it'll work for you and work for maybe years to come. Okay, so consider this as an alternative. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps you, and I hope you stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.